Aries, welcome in. It's Laura from Tenacious Taurus Twin Flame Tarot, and this is going to be your monthly reading for the month of August. Keep in mind, Aries, timing and energy is still fluid. This reading could play out at any point in time throughout the month. This reading may or may not be for you, so I do ask that you only take with you the messages that resonate and leave behind the rest. Also keep in mind, energies can be swapped around. These are energies in and around you, so I could be speaking directly to you, Aries, or I could be speaking to a cross watcher. Swap around the energies uh, to make it fit, but do not cram yourself into a message that is not meant for you. Okay, let's jump in, Aries, and see what kind of a message Spirit has for you for the month ahead. I kind of feel like this, um, this recalibration is is what I felt when I was coming down the stairs, uh, getting into your energy. Like, things are moving around. I was shown, like, almost like a Tetris scene, scene where you're kind of moving things around, fitting things in certain places, and kind of like recalibrating something. I'm not sure what, and that might just be a message for somebody out there. I just noticed 111 on the timer, so I do feel like um, for some Aries out there, your thoughts are manifesting really rapidly, and so this recalibration, I think, is to align you with something you've been striving towards uh, manifesting. So let's see what needs to come through with the wisdom of the Oracle deck, and uh, so I'm going to do things a little bit different this month, Aries. I am going to pull... Um, your current energy, I'm going to get a message from your higher self, potential near future energies, what's kind of hidden below the surface that either you don't want to address or you don't see coming, and a potential overall outcome. And then I will clarify all of these energies with the tarot, but we're going to get the main first general message with the wisdom of the Oracle deck. All right. All that glitters reverse come to the edge so there's definitely a karmic reset here this is kind of like the fool energy taking a leap of faith and love maybe i kind of feel like uh, all you got to do is leap just take that take that first step into a new beginning and i do think it is about love with all of the hearts on the card but something needs to break down so this is like a tower we got a tower and it's going to wipe the slate clean, Aries, for a brand new beginning. So you get to decide, do you want to take the leap or do you want to get shoved off the ledge? But uh, something is breaking down. You've either created a false sense of security for yourself or somebody you're connected with has. Somebody's been wearing a mask. Somebody's been chasing every single shiny, glittery thing instead of really going within, looking deeper. And so something is about to shatter. Something is about to crumble. You're going to have a tower, and this could be with your body, with your job, with a relationship, with a home situation. It could be anything, really. But whatever's happening is divinely guided change, and you're going to have to rebuild on solid ground. So they want me to say, uh, not, not everything material is what it's about. Uh, that didn't come out right. <laughs> I'm trying to think here. So I, I feel somebody might be losing it all to, to understand that maybe it is about the heart. So this might even be a message for somebody who has their Chiron in Aries. Um, so that's a little side note. It is for any major Aries placements. And right now we do have Jupiter in retrograde in the sign of Aries. And we also have Chiron um, in retrograde in Aries. So self, self-identity, self-expansion. Uh, maybe this is like an internal uh, shift in your beliefs. I'm not sure, but we're going to get your current energy. It is about foundations. It is about a foundation of some sort, whether it is your body, a foundation you've built with another within a relationship. It's about a foundation for sure, a belief system, uh, a cycle, closing out a cycle, breaking free from outdated beliefs, an old version of who you are perhaps, and building a solid foundation of self. There is a new beginning in love, but we also have to have that firm foundation of self. First, mom is working, you're gonna have to wait. And then we get the fork in the road in reverse. The kids are home guys, I'm trying to play catch up, and so they're not super happy because I've been trying to go back to back to back uh, to make up for my lost time. I've not uh, been on doing any uh, videos for over a week now, but it does feel good to be back. Anyway. It's like this coming out energy, coming out of the closet, coming back to self is, is a message that I feel. So 
definitely an internal shift with uh, the fork in the road 13. It's like you've been stuck, 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 stuck at this crossroads. I feel like your wheels have been spinning, trying to recalibrate. I also feel this energy of somebody's being asked to step up and lead and they've been uh, resisting, uh, resisting accepting a leadership role. There's been some type of transformation or there's going to be some type of transformation going on. And I feel the pathway forward is a little bit uncertain. And this is why you have to be solid in who you are, solid in what it is you believe in, in order to know which direction to go in moving forward. And so there's a need to heal something. Something needs to be mended. Something maybe you've not wanted to look at, whether it's, you know, a past behavioral pattern, an addiction, or a relationship from the past that is needing to be mended. Could be with some children. But there's some big, big changes coming. There's some big, big changes coming. It's kind of feeling like uh, a two of wands reverse. Like somebody's about to get the rug pulled out from under them and they're going to be falling flat on their ass and I think it's going to hurt. And then you're going to have to rebuild from that zero point. And you're going to have to rebuild as your most authentic self. So, wow, Aries. Uh, a message from your higher self. That one really wanted to come out. So, uh, not been listening to your intuition for sure. Been ignoring the signs, ignoring the things. Somebody here could have some mystic healing capabilities, but ignoring, once again, not listening to the advice that you've been given from your angelic team or your higher self, and I think receiving poor advice. I think maybe you've been misguided um, when it comes to healing a situation. Your higher self is saying you have a deep knowing something needs to be mended, and you're not taking action. So what's preventing you from taking action? And I feel there was a shift around the 7-7 seven, seven portal last month. Maybe you've been really doing some deep soul searching in the dark night of the soul energy since about that 7-7 seven, seven portal. I think there's fear about going the distance. I do think something is needing to be revived, brought back from the dead. This is also the energy of rising from the phoenix. You have what it takes. So what is needing mending in your life? Because once again, 46, breaking down to a 10, a cycle, completion. And when we get to 10, we start back around at 1. So what needs to completely be healed, talked about, amended, that you've been ignoring on the inside before you can go through this rebirth process and go the distance? And this is about like a union of self, balancing your inner masculine and energy. Masculine and feminine energies. My mind is going faster than my mouth will talk. And I think you've been struggling, maybe financially. I think you've been feeling a little bit emotionally bankrupt. And I think, you know, you've been going through this burning up of karma is kind of what I'm feeling. Needing to address something. Needing to address something maybe you walked away from that, you know, maybe it's not over yet. I think uh, you've been lacking a sense of family wherever you're at, a lack of community, a lack of togetherness wherever you're at. Maybe there's no more working together and you've not wanted to admit that, hey, this isn't for me anymore. You've not really wanted to look at that truth. Maybe there's something from the past that is unfinished that really has prevented you from uh, seeing clearly. This could be a breakdown of an entire um, family setting, uh, social setting of some sort. But uh, near future, there's going to be a conflict. Get ready for some chaos and conflict. And there is going to be a tower. Because your outer world is always a reflection of your inner world. I think you've been in like this internal war. A battle between your head and your heart. And it's like this has been eating away at you inside. And there's a need to talk about it. So it's interesting. So master number, mastering a very painful karmic lesson about maybe authenticity, being honest, coming from a place of integrity. Maybe somebody here has built a foundation purely on materialism and greed and lustful desires, instant gratification. And maybe two people here have been wearing a mask, pretending everything's all good. We got everything we need, but you're not happy. It's like this five of wands constantly in a power struggle, maybe fighting over money in order for something to, you know, be illuminated that needs to change, I think there's gonna be a fight. Get ready for a fight um, in the near future, some chaos and some conflict in order to get you out of this stuck place. Maybe somebody here is like attention seeking. Because what I noticed on this card is it, it was like a, a zebra, but um, has giraffe spots. 
Somebody needs to get that higher perspective. You need to rise above whatever chaos, conflict, and drama is playing out. If you're in a power struggle over material stuff, walk away. Is it worth it? Because you can always rebuild from ground zero. So this could be walking away from a situation with nothing but the shirt on your back. I'm not sure, but let's see what's hidden below the surface. The tarot is going to clarify that for us, Aries. Let's see what's hidden below the surface. It's kind of like that fork in the road uh, reversed. We get between worlds reversed, stuck. Oh, it's stuck. It's stuck. And I think things have been reconfiguring in the background behind the scenes. And I don't think you're enjoying this stuck energy. It's like you're trying to come out of the shadows, trying to come out of the dark. I think you've been in a very depressing uh, situation uh, with somebody. I think you know in your heart of hearts is not really in it with you. Uh, you're dealing with somebody that's not loyal, that maybe is double, you know, has had some double loyalty, loyal to somebody in the past that they've not been wanting to go towards healing. And there is maybe going to be a regeneration. And I think maybe it's time to talk about this once again. I think you've been receiving the messages from your spirit team and you've been ignoring it. And I feel, you know, they've been calling, calling, answer the call, answer the call. You need balance in your life. It's time to find a state of balance. And I also feel all of these bottled up emotions are going to lead to a huge outburst because somebody here has no peace in their life. There's no peace. There's change coming. There's uh, this energy of, you know, no creativity, a creative block of some sort, not being able to manifest anything in your life because somebody's all stressed out stressed out and anxious about the future. And when they look back at the past, it hurts. So there's been resistance to uh, feeling that. Somebody's been ignoring the red flags. And I feel there's going to be like this karmic rebalancing taking place in August. So Aries, let's see a potential overall outcome. There's something unfinished here. And I feel uh, it's feeling like the wheel reversed, the fates reversed blessings reversed something is ending something also needs to come back around from the past that's not been fully healed mended or dealt with and this could be total financial ruin the blessings ain't coming until the lessons are learned is another message i feel so um definitely a foundation a breakdown of a false foundation because something needs to give something needs to end can't keep going round and round and round. I also feel it doesn't matter how much you try to, to progress forward. It's like you think you're closing out a cycle. You take, you take two steps forward and it's like 10 steps back. And I also feel this energy of time is of the essence. This is about the heart. Somebody has really bottled up some emotions on their heart. And I feel it's created all kinds of struggles. When all you got to do is drop the burden and step into this happier energy. And maybe the burden is releasing an entire group of friends. A family that you've created for yourself. Something that just isn't working where, you know, it's not, uh, it's not like a bunch of people working together. It's a bunch of people that maybe get together, party, gossip. That's not, that's not a healthy sense of community. And I feel it's kind of time to expand beyond this stuckness because you've been told to move on. And you're not, you're not, and you're, and you're like playing all these tricks in your mind is what I'm feeling. So, uh, something needs to come to a, a dead stop. And I think it is coming to a dead stop. There's going to be a delay, a challenge, something coming to a dead stop. This is fate of change, a loss of materialism, a loss of, you know, what you've built up because it was built on false pretenses because the cycle needs to close out. Uh, let's, let's clarify with the tap, with the tower. I, I, I've been saying that almost every reading and I feel like we are in the month where all of these towers do have to crumble, but look at that. Oh my God. Current energy, knight of cups, knight of wands. So fire, love. We got a cup of love and we got passion. We got a lot of passion and a lot of love. And somebody's at a fork in the road when it comes to maybe rushing in with an offer. Things are going to change fast. Get ready for an unexpected departure, an unexpected arrival. There's love here. And I kind of feel maybe it's a decision between passion and love. Lust and love. 
All right, uh, let's clarify. Ooh, and then these all just flipped out in reverse. So somebody's been lying. Ooh, somebody's been lying. This just flipped out in reverse now. Knight of Wands reversed. King of Swords reversed. Emperor reversed. Aries energy, that's your energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This could be your energy or somebody you're dealing with. Somebody in the past was a player. They were a player. They were an emperor wannabe. They come in acting like they were ready to build a foundation. They were ready to be somebody's equal. And they came in very manipulative. Somebody's been lying about their passions. I also feel this is this very well could be a masculine going through total financial ruin for a lack of truth and honesty. Wow. Let's see what else needs to come through. There is a faulty foundation about to crumble. That was a messy, a messy flip. So yeah. This very dishonest person could be a bully, could be uh, the emperor reverse, could be a narcissist or somebody with narcissistic tendencies. Somebody, you know, that pretends they're committed but has affairs. That could be it too. Uh, you know, exposure of a hidden affair. Not sure. But yeah, somebody's been thinking about making an unexpected choice in love. And boy, have they been thinking. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Gaining a new perspective. Gemini Pisces. So somebody's been uh, stuck in a situation dealing with a snake for quite some time. And uh, the divine is trying to bring two soulmates together that are supposed to be life partners. So, you know, the emperor in reverse when he's not with his true match can be very brash, cold, detached, abusive, controlling, manipulative. There is definitely a strong masculine energy coming out here. That has been hiding uh, some grief on his heart when it comes to a missed opportunity. Has been hiding the truth of this pain on his heart when it comes to a missed opportunity. Nine of Wands. I mentioned that Chiron and Aries for a reason. So somebody's been sitting on some truth. They've been going within, I don't think, ready to acknowledge something. Or maybe they are ready to acknowledge it. And that's going to quickly... And a situation that was never meant to last in the first place. Uh, the Knight of Wands can be very harsh, brash, and uses that sword to sever a connection. Because look at no community, no sense of community, no sense of togetherness, no sense of working together. Really, really thinking about offering somebody a new beginning, a clean slate, that I think they didn't want to look at before. That they walked away for, for a third party. For some fun, for a party, for something that was shiny and glittery. Maybe because it was connected to their social circle. And they've not wanted to look at this big cup of love. But I think, you know, the page starting at that ground zero. Got nothing really to offer. But, you know, my hard work I'm going to put in to build something solid. Uh, a new beginning with a missed opportunity from the past. So, wow. Let's, let's clarify some more. Let's look at this mending reversed. Deep knowing, healing uh, from a third party situation that somebody deeply regrets going towards. Yeah, the party's over. I think there's a lot of gossip. There's a lot of people talking. I think a whole falling out of a social circle. And uh, because I think there's going to be some type of revelation. Of like, oh my God, I missed out on my match, my perfect match. Somebody's been grieving. Playing into a third party situation, but you know what? They're coming in for that union because the five minus the three is the two of cups, a deep spiritual connection that somebody has been ignoring. They know that this person's meant for them. They know they have this deep knowing it's time to mend this, ignoring it, ignoring it, lying to themselves, lying to everybody they've been connected to, denying this truth on the heart. And it's kind of time to, uh, to bring some healing into this situation. So definitely a reconfiguration, a realignment. So let's clarify regeneration and go the distance. I do think this can be revived. This can be regenerated. This can be healed. This can be mended. And I think uh, the two of you will have what it takes to go the distance, but 
it's going to require somebody coming in and offering something that they didn't invest in in the past, you know, putting in the work, putting in the effort. Somebody in the past was giving to multiple people and it wasn't balanced. And so I feel the scales are being balanced out. Somebody wants to come in and heal a situation with their empress. Oh my freaking God. Taurus Libra. Somebody's feeling very heartbroken. Very foolish. They've been living in denial, dealing with the Queen of Wands in reverse that has had them trapped in an illusion, I feel. Trapped in fear when it comes to taking action uh, to a deep soulmate connection. Likely a very controlling, possessive, jealous, uh, feminine energy, karmic feminine energy. Angry. Angry. Wanting to hold on to somebody in a false foundation. Aries Leo Sage. And somebody's breaking fear, breaking free from that fear, that, that illusion of fear. They've been playing into a power struggle with this Queen of Wands. And that's what the Emperor Reverse does. Wants to control two very controlling people. Very dishonest connection. And, you know, it was an illusion. It wasn't real. It was a fantasy. It was based on lustful desires. And it's been a challenge. It's been a block in a foundation. I feel so I feel somebody's gonna be breaking free from a very controlling feminine energy because they want to heal with their true match who I feel is also very divinely protected we got a divine feminine here and we got a divine masculine not acting very divine being very manipulative borderline narcissistic so let's take a look at all that glitters please chaos and conflict because there's gonna be a fight I feel that emperor is going to get into a fight with somebody he's created a false foundation with. And it's going to break him free. And I feel there's a feminine here, a divine feminine, that knows. That I feel has warned this masculine of the rotten fruit that he went towards. And there's going to be a huge closing of cycle. There's been a secret. Uh, there's been a secret here that needs to come out. I also feel somebody's only listening to their own higher self, their own higher guidance, following their intuition, getting honest with themselves. Something is coming full circle. A big life lesson is being learned. And, uh, and there's going to be a major ending. Profound life transformation. Scorpio energy. We do have Aquarius, Leo, and Taurus. Pisces. There's a high priestess here that knows this tower is coming, and I think she's been patiently waiting for it. Something is dying away in order for another connection to be resurrected. There's going to be no more confusion. I can see clearly now I've just been holding on for the money, honey. There is a new passion here, and it's kind of time uh, to make that final judgment call. Somebody's going through an awakening, I feel maybe a heart chakra awakening and could be potentially losing it all. I feel very ungrounded, very unstable, needing to get control of a situation for sure. <sighs> yeah, there's definitely um, some secrets here, some lies below the surface. Somebody is dealing with a master manipulator that emotionally manipulates to prevent somebody from leaving the situation. Lying, cheating, stealing. This is somebody that cries all the time. I think this is going to be an emotional month. Definitely a master manipulator here for sure. There's somebody very disloyal here. And the Queen of Cups reverse. This could be an emotional outburst. When she finds out somebody's sneaking away after being blocked because they've been manipulated. And they're only going towards what is true. There's a beautiful new experience here. Somebody's trying to get away from this manipulator who... I feel they're no longer invested in. Bad investment, not a wise decision, and passionately uh, exiting a situation, taking back control of a situation, the King of Wands, a leader, a boss, a visionary, and uh, all done with this loveless situation. All done with this master manipulator, this possessive, controlling, uh, needy, clingy uh, bitch is what I want to say. This is not my wish fulfillment. I've been trapped in a situation, playing into a power struggle with this person, playing a game, and uh, I'm no longer going to play into this illusion. I'm done with this fight. I'm breaking myself free. This is not what I wish for, not what I asked for, not my wish fulfillment, and I'm going right towards an empress that I fear I'm not going to have victory with because I waited too long to take that leap of faith. 
foolish decision, foolish decision. More Aries energy, Pisces. Uh, but there's definitely two people parting ways. It, it was lust. It was instant gratification. It was materialism. It was greed. And then we get this, you know, pre-empress energy again. And she's just sitting there pretty. Likely very well off, stable, grounded, solid. She's just waiting for her perfect match. So uh, there's an unfinished symphony with somebody from the past. But let's take a look at that unfinished symphony because there's going to be a faded uh, tower breakdown of some sort in order for somebody uh, to finish something that was started maybe three, four years ago because it was the holy grail love and uh, there was a major injustice. Somebody wasn't willing to acknowledge this love on their heart. Libra energy. It could be Libra. And I feel somebody's going through an emotional breakdown, a heart chakra awakening, and finding their strength to come in with a cup of love and an apology. Leo energy. Because the time is now to walk away from a very unhealthy situation. The time is now to walk the spiritual path and to walk straight towards emotional contentment, something that will last a lifetime. So I do feel get ready for a conversation. There is going to be the parting of a way, the parting of ways. There is no more working together. There's no harmony, no union here, no passion here. And it's kind of time to get honest. And I do feel maybe, you know, somebody will be blocking uh, this feminine energy very soon. So let's uh let's get a couple last messages uh, with the crystal stone deck i can't believe we're at like 26 minutes already aries you've gotten the longest reading i think since being back at work so uh let's see what else uh this deck has to say when it comes to the energies for august point your heart towards grace unlock your creativity so there definitely was a creative block like i talked about so it is it's like this uh this blank canvas there's gonna be a clean slate and uh, maybe the opportunity uh, to make something beautiful again that was overlooked, that, you know, somebody didn't want to look at, that walked away from, that missed out on something really good here. I feel um, somebody's definitely been having issues with their sex life in this toxic situation. There's no passion left. And they're about to break through that fog, break through that illusion for sure. Um, and I think it's been a very painful, purging, uh, creative process and a lot of karma. And I feel it's kind of time to turn the page, turn the page and to break that chain, that ball and chain, because uh, somebody's heart is like, it's about to uh, explode uh, and they've lost the courage when it comes to come forward. I think somebody was a coward. They didn't have the courage to step forward and love somebody and to receive that love from this empress. Let me say, the empress's love is unconditional. The Empress's love is very intense and she does kind of demand that you meet her at her level. She will not fall down to your level. And so I think uh, that was maybe a little bit scary. And somebody's been going through a refresh, a revival, and they're opening up their heart finally. They're opening up their heart uh, is kind of what I'm feeling. And yeah, they're getting ready uh, to speak from their heart. I think in the past... They didn't have foresight. Uh, they weren't willing to look deeper into this situation and they got drowned out by some bad advice. They did not make a very mindful decision. They jumped into making a poor decision and they've been, they've been restless over this for a while and they've been going deep thinking about this, thinking about this connection and, and what they can do to uh, realign to this Empress's energy and they're getting ready to speak from the heart. There's somebody here uh, finding the courage to speak their truth. So clearing a throat chakra blockage. Maybe when Mercury goes retrograde, this will play out. Right now, Mercury is in Virgo, and then it will go to Libra, and then it will go retrograde, and it will be uh, retrograde in Virgo. So maybe when Mercury goes retrograde, maybe August is all about this reevaluation. But I kind of feel the universe is saying it's time to make something go happen. It's time to speak your truth because what do you really want for life? What do you, wh or what do you really want from your life? Because somebody's in a current situation that they really don't want to be in. 
And uh, the universe is saying the time is now for action. And that's kind of what I got, Aries. I hope this helped. I hope this resonated. If you would like to book a personal or a twin soul reading with me, I do encourage you to check out that description box below. And I look forward to seeing you all again next time. Thank you.